I do not agree when people give a broad statement to say that the youth of this generation is strawberry or is very self-entitled and uh, so and so forth. I think people should not put young people down. It's really impressive to see young people foregoing the opportunity to have a structured job that might pay them a higher salary to really make impact in the world. And I think that's something that's quite inspiring. When I talk about mentoring, I always feel that it's two-way traffic. You know, it's not just me mentoring someone, it's actually the person reverse mentoring me. It was during, I think, April, May, we were in the circuit breaker period, and it was very challenging because not many people could get their own masks. So obviously, the idea of using vending machine came up. So there was a time when I was asked to come in and help them to evaluate a supplier for the vending machine. That's when we came across a company called Warburg, who brought in a partner for software development called Beep. Now, actually, my job ends there. But that was when I met this gentleman called Terence. And Terence separately reached out to me through Telegram and said, hey Mark, we're having some challenges. And, and nothing wrong because um, they are new, they're a young company, they're very innovative, very creative, very ener energetic. However, writing software for a school project and writing software in a real world industry grade is quite different, right? Especially if you're handling very sensitive data. So that's when I came into the picture. They just started messaging me, I started replying, and one thing led to another, we became a working team. I didn't know he was the MD of <laughs> Namaste Digital. I think when I received email from him, then I went to look him up on LinkedIn, then I realised that he's actually the MD. <laughs> he doesn't have that imposing figure, he's very open, very welcome to everyone here. I think there's really no barriers working with him. And we're trying to brainstorm some solutions together, we'll send a telegram seeker to each other. So I think having this kind of a informal discussion actually help us to brainstorm more novel solutions as well. Yeah. What Mark really helped us is really all the back-end plumbing and all the security infrastructure that is required to make the whole stay mask uh, campaign happen. Because back then, uh, when we were doing the commercial deployments, right, uh, we could only process maybe like uh, five transactions a second. And in order to scale it up for a stay mask, right, we had to get to maybe about 1,000, 2,000 transactions per second. So, so I think it's really all these little nuggets uh, that you know, we really learned a lot. You know. What appealed to me about Neurofarm was very high energy, ambitious, motivated. And something I've learned from them as well is to be very resilient. Indonesia is a huge agricultural country. Our agriculture contributes to 13% of GDP in Indonesia. I feel the need that this sector should be transformed because it's not sustainable. The farmer welfare is really low. It's something that worth to pursue. I've always believed that mentoring is not about the number of hours. And I'll share this, some of the most important and relevant feedback are often just one or two sentences. I think the best mentor it's not someone who tell you what to do, but tell you what to think. And so there is uh, the letter. He told us what to think instead of what to do. And that what really struck me the most. A lot of what we end up learning in the workplace are not necessarily taught in classrooms or in textbooks. And so for me, it's very important to have an ability to pay that forward. I always believe that the most valuable capital we have uh, is human, is the people. So I believe that we encourage their heart, they will go on uh, to encourage the next generation and the next generation that will make a difference in this world.